Greetings guys, Frankie here aka Bakehead and today I'm going to be doing a video of a bunch of embarrassing school stories. Some of these are about my friends being jerks, <laughs> just kidding. Some of them are about me being stupid, others are just, I don't know, just some of them are just, why did you do that Frankie Lake? Explain please. So let's just get into the video. into the video if I sound a little bit sick I am I have a really bad cold so and I have a really like stuffy nose so yeah just disclaimer because I know somebody's gonna ask before we get into this video I need you guys everybody watching this to subscribe we are almost at 20 subscribers I know that's a really sad milestone but you have to start somewhere right so basically I'll just sit here and wait for you guys to subscribe Thank you. The first one that is very, very bad. So for, so this one happened in kindergarten. Really colossally awful the fact that this happened to me. But basically, I think we were doing like a spelling test or something, and oh, this is gonna be hard to remember. But basically, I was. Oh, I'm so bad at remembering this. So basically I was just sitting there at my um, table and my teacher, we're just going to call her Miss Purple for the sake of this video, she was just reading off the spelling words and um, I really had to go to the bathroom. So I raised my hand and she was like, yes Frankie. So I, I asked if I could go to the bathroom and she said, sure, like not really a big deal, like we all have to go to the bathroom, not really a big deal. So I left the classroom and I was just walking to the bathroom and then I realized I really have to go to the bathroom. Like I really have to go to the bathroom. Like really, really bad. I really had to go to the bathroom. So then I got into the bathroom and I looked at myself in the mirror because that's always what I do and I really like I really had to go to the bathroom. So you know like bathrooms at elementary schools there are like stalls. So I went into one of the stalls and I um I closed the door and I, I peed myself. <laughs> I literally peed myself. Like I just I sat there, well I didn't actually sit there, I just, I, I peed myself, which is really, really sad to think about, because I, I peed myself, like to be honest, I, I did, I, I, I did that, I did that, it was really, really, really bad, so, my hair looks awful today, so, oh my god, so I was wearing leggings, I live in leggings. I'm in leggings right now. So I I was wearing leggings and you can like see when they're wet. Like it's easy to tell if they're wet. But basically what I did was I stood in the bathroom for like 10 minutes and I was like, what am I going to do about this? So I literally, I just walked back to my classroom after standing there because I thought it was like dry. I was like fanning myself like my, to see if it was dry. It wasn't dry. So I walked back to my classroom. And I just sat back down. Didn't really make a big deal out of it. I just sat back down. It was like 10 minutes until lunchtime. So we finished the spelling test or whatever we were doing. And we, she dismissed us for lunch. I was going to wait till everybody left. So I could, oh, I have a bump on my head. I like banged myself on like a lighting fixture in my dining room. It really, really hurt. So, oh my God. I have such a sad life. So basically I was going to wait so that nobody would like see that I was clearly wet. So I, oh my God, this is so sad. Basically what I did was I just sat there and then my teacher told me to stay there and I was like, uh oh, she probably knows. Uh, but I was like, wait, how could she like, I don't know. And she sat down next to me. 
after everybody was gone, and she said to me, Frankie, did you pee your pants? <laughs> literally, I wish I could be making this up, but that is literally what she said to me. Literally, exactly what she said to me. That is, I wish I could be making this up. I'm not. I am dead serious. That's what she said to me. I think I started crying, but I, I was like, yes, I did. And she told me to just go to the health room and get a pair, or get a pair of clothes. She gave me like a, the nurse gave me a pair of like jeans that were like bright blue, and a gray crew neck sweatshirt. So, uh, 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 uh. so the best part about this was the shame I felt when walking through the lunchroom when everybody was sitting down wearing my clothes from the health room. This next story is pretty short and sweet, but I, uh, I was just being very stupid. So for sixth grade, this happened in sixth grade, I, um, Oh god, I got one of those like big things, I think it's called like case it, that I just got one of those because it would help me be organized. It didn't, to be honest. So, and that thing, they had like those big binder clips inside of it to like clip in stuff. So my math teacher, she gave us a, um, like a math like workbook with a bunch of like math pages in it, kind of like you get in elementary school, but this was sixth grade. Well, Max Elementary School. Mm. No, just kidding. So, um, what is that? So, yeah, so the math journal had, like, the holes in it to put the binder clips in. And I was like, awesome, I can put this in in my case it and, like, have the binder clips, like, be with that. It'll be amazing. I am so cool. So, that's what I was thinking. I, I just... Just kill me now. So, basically, I, um, I put the math journal in the binder clips. And then one day, my teacher, we're just going to call her Miss Yellow for the sake of this video. She was like, okay, everyone, get out your, your journals. And I was like, okay. And little did I know that those things were. Like, well, this, I had actually figured it out, this out the night before when closing it. Those binder clips closing them are loud. Like, they're like, <coughs> like, <coughs> like that. Very loud. So, basically, she told us to get them out, and I, I opened the binder clips, I got the thing out, and I refused to close them. Classy! I refused to close them. I don't know why. I just did. I just, I don't know. I just did. And then we were like all the way in like into our like math page that we were doing and I was still sitting there like not even with my thing open and my teacher said, she was like, Frankie, are you okay? I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. And she's like, well, get to it. Open up your book. So... That's my life. I was an embarrassing sixth grader. Last story is super short, but it is about fourth grade. The end of the year, I brought my my vintage little iPod uh, to school because I wanted to take a picture of my teacher at the end of the year. Yep, exactly what I wanted to do. Exactly what I wanted to do. I don't know why, but I just, I did. I really, really did. Those are my embarrassing school stories. Comment down below with one of yours, and remember to subscribe. If you didn't subscribe at the beginning of the video and I told you to, I'm just going to wait here again for you guys to subscribe. Thank you.